Oak Hill City Forest Hiking Trails. Got parking for plenty of cars. We're going up the Tower Trail to Oak Hill Fire Tower. It is about 5.45 in the evening, late afternoon. You are here. Tower Trail goes up this way, up Dancing Bear Trail. Forgot about that, I was gonna bring a sticker. And then we go into the town of Loudoun. Right now I am in Concord, New Hampshire. The fire tower is in the town of Loudoun, just across the border there. Ooh, Concord's little free public library. Come and get a book from the, yep, from those guys. Here we go. Oak Hill Fire Tower Trail in the northwest area, northwest area. Kind of like the northwest, court northwest, northeast. See, there's my just directional dyslexia going again. Northeast corner of the city of Concord, capital of New Hampshire. I am yellow blazing. It is actually a few minutes before 545, which is pretty darn late to go for a hike of this length because the sun Still has another month to go before it's at its uh, longest, you know what I mean? Um, another month to go until we have the longest day of the year. So I should have enough light. I mean, it'll be definitely uh, at dusk probably when I'm back to the car. But I wanted to check this trail out. It's not too far away from where I live. It's like 18 miles. I'm telling you, other than Shaw Pond Trail, it's not a hike without rock walls. Look at this. More rock walls. And there's one over there going up the hill, which it's the same hill. I'm walking up. I'm still out of shape. This really bites. Fork in the road. Lower trail. Lower trail that way. Blue. I'm going yellow. Up. 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 Another fork in the road. Red trail. Ledges pass trail. Red goes that way. Up. Yellow goes this way. I get out of breath pretty quickly because I don't pace myself. I get out here. Man, I just want to go. I told my boss that one time. So my boss was telling me, oh, work at a slower pace, don't kill yourself, doesn't need to be done right away. I said something along the lines of, I only have one speed, let's go. Pace myself, are you kidding me? I can't pace myself, it's very difficult for me. Kind of depends on the task, with work, it's go. And I kind of feel like being out here on the trail. My one speed is go. Just go. You can't slow down. The only time you slow down is to look at stuff. Otherwise, just go. Yellow blazing on. I don't know how long I can sit here because of the mosquito net flies. Not, not mosquito flies. Fly not mosquitoes. Uh, so far, so good. 
I was wise enough to bring some water today. Uh, something, well, I, I brought the water because I took into consideration the temperature out here. I knew it was pretty freaking warm. It's 84 degrees. I do not like 84 degrees. I do not like the 80s. Unless it's perhaps your honeymoon in the middle of winter. Then the 80s might be nice. Otherwise, I do not like any temperatures over about 75. When I started hiking, there's the camera over there. When I started hiking, I, I said, you know, my body just has go speed. So I wasn't taking into consideration the temperature whatsoever. I did think about it before I left, though. Like I said, I brought the water, but uh, even at 84 degrees, my body just wants to go. I just want to go, go. I don't need to pace myself. Speaking of which, there's a fly net mosquito near me, near my face, so I'm, I'm moving. I'm about to go up a stupid hill. Another stupid hill. Can we tell how high that is? I have no idea. It's weird, like, here, I'll show you. Can you tell this is a fairly big hill? It's fairly big. It's, it's not that little, but it's also not super tall. But just looking at the view right now, I'm trying to hold it basically level. Can you tell what kind of uphillage there is? It's not that bad, but it sucks. But I knew I was getting into this. I knew what kind of elevation gain I'd have today. That's pretty much what I wanted today. Another junction, upper trail. Red goes that way, yellow blazing on. I guess, yeah. Some of these public trails go right by public property, or private property, I mean. Every now and then, I know that I might want to take a side excursion, traipsing, a little bit of bushwhack scramble to see something that might not be too far off the trail. <clears throat> But when you're on a trail that borders private property, it's probably not always a good thing, unless you don't care. Which, I gotta tell you, you're kind of the anarchist rebel side of me says, I, I do respect private property, but I'm also gonna do what I want. But I try and respect private property. You know, as a basic general rule. Got an area of clear cut over here to the left. I see one of these signs that says, all I can read is warning. And then at the bottom it says, arrest. So, also one says posted and one says no trespassing. Because these trees are cut down. A nice view up there. Tell you what, I hope that's not going to be a subdivision one of these days. That would be ridiculous. That's what they do in South Carolina. It's like, they see trees. I think, this is my theory, they, uh, they look at satellite imagery and they see lots of trees. 50 acres, 100 acres, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600,000 acres. <laughs> And, and the developers who are looking at this on their computer, they start drooling. Look out! Look out! Whew, that was close. Um, they start drooling. They think to themselves, let's cut down every tree. Put up a subdivision. Make lots of money. That's, that's how they respect the land in South Carolina. I.e., they don't. It's very sad. This is a very nice, essentially flat stretch right now. 
And I know that since I'm saying that, it's probably going to take a turn and go uphill any minute now. Because I know that I've still got to go up to get to Oak Hill, which is just under a thousand feet. I don't know what my starting elevation was. I did not hike yesterday, which ticked me off. Um, I kick myself, I hate myself, I curse myself. Part of the reason is I woke up super freaking late. And then part of the reason why I'm out here at five, almost 5.45 today is because I woke up really super freaking late. And when I wake up really super freaking late, you know, I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do, I can't just roll out of bed, get dressed and go. Unfortunately, I got stuff to do. I say that like it's a mandatory need, but it's not really. I could, I could get up and go, but I, you know, kind of a routine-ish person in some ways, not not absolutely, but I like to uh, you know, have my coffee, get a few things done on the computer, and uh, and then, and then after a little while, um, I'm ready to go. By the time I was ready to go, it's freaking five o'clock today, which is ridiculous. But at the same time, I don't have the midday sun beating down on me. That's a positive. And um, what else? As this hike goes on, you know, I'll be losing a degree or two in air temperature. That's a positive. That's kind of related to point A about the sun beating down. But I don't know, there was another positive. I forget what, oh well. In any case, it's okay that I left at five and started my hike just before 5.45. It would have been a little sooner, but I had to stop and get gas. Otherwise I might've run out of gas on the way here <laughs> or between here and the nearest gas station after I left here. So far, if that, if that stupid clear cut wasn't there, whether it's just clear cutting for timber or whether it's, well, clear cutting for timber and then letting it grow back or clear cutting it for timber and then building houses there. Either way, if that clear cut wasn't there, this would be a much more enjoyable hike. Even with that, I still am enjoying it. So, oh! Dancing Bear Trail that way. I wanted to bring some stickers and vandalize with some Grateful Dead dancing, Red Dancing Bear stickers. I'll have to redo this trail and do that sometime. Actually, I didn't, I didn't say what I just said, though. Um, it won't be me. It won't be my fingerprints. Uh, it won't be me. Yeah. Can't pin nothing on me, copper. Copper. Copper? A copper. Can't pin nothing on me, copper. All right. Yellow trail blazing on. Rocky Road! Nice forested area here. Like, I, re I really, really like flat trails. I mean, elevation, gaining an elevation has its pluses, such as the view often. We Pardon the interruption. It's the Gene Krupa loop. Onward this way. Yellow blazing up the old. Where is it? Where am I? I have no idea. Um, Oak. 
Oak something. Oak Hill. Oak Hill Fire Tower Trail. That's where I am. Northeastern Concord, New Hampshire, New England, USA, for now. Um, I love these fly trails. They're just, when they're beautiful like this, man, I do not care that there's no uphill to gain hundreds of feet or a thousand feet or eventually more than a thousand feet in elevation. This is fantastic. I'm going up and down a little bit. That's cool. That's all I need, man. That's all I need to make me happy. You didn't have forests like this in the low country of South Carolina. The trail that I would walk on. I mean, it's it's in the Francis Marion National Forest. Hero slaveholder, by the way. Look him up. Um, an American hero, all the way. Except he owned slaves. How about that? Of course, it wasn't good to own human beings, but that was the thing back then. Not to condone it. I'm just saying it was the thing back then. Um, can an American hero who owns slaves, can American who owns slaves be a hero? That's an issue for another video. So anyway, trails like this, man, when you've got elevation gain of like 100 feet, very gentle, easy trail. Me likey. The Croup Loop, Swope Slope, Swope Slope, Vista. Not going to Swope Slope Vista. S here's the old thing where, the, where, where someone says, say that 10 times fast. Swope Slope Vista. I'm not even gonna try because I'm just making this video far too long. Water feature. No turtles, no frogs, no alligators, no giraffes, because you, you never know. So anyway, I like, I like flat trails. I would totally dig some flat forested trails. My, my new goal though is elevation. I want to keep moving up in elevation. However, if I want to make videos about hiking trails in general, I should throw in some flat crap every now and then, which if this wasn't leading up to Oak Hill at the top of a hill, what am I trying to say? I don't know, I lost my, lost my thought. Anyway, here we go. I'll shut up, yellow blazing on. So the funny thing about fly trails like this and why I like them so much, <laughs> see I'm laughing, is uh, they don't make me huff and puff. They make me feel like I'm in decent shape. I feel like this is awesome. I could keep hiking these flat, beautiful trails for a few hours, you know? Maybe six hours, maybe seven or eight. And man, I'd feel fantastic. At least, you know, for an hour and a half, I know I can feel great. I haven't, in two and a half years, I haven't done a trail that's been three hours plus. I think the longest is about two and a half. Um, and even then I stopped for a little bit here, a little bit there. When I say stop for a little bit, I mean like, you know, a minute here, two minutes there, 10 seconds here, 20 seconds there. I'm about to go uphill, I'm gonna start huffing and puffing again. But I really like flat trails, because they make me feel like I'm a, I'm a Superman. I can keep walking all day. Oh, 
Wow. Now I thought I was going to go up, up, and up. I'm going up a little bit, down slash flat, and then up again. Up, up, up. So, uh, I kind of want to go to the doctor and ask him, what's going to take me to be in good shape where I can come out here and do this whole trail and not huff and puff? What's it going to take me? That would be fantastic. One and a half hour hike, thousand, ele thousand foot elevation gain. No huffing and puffing. No stopping. You know, that's the thing. Sometimes halfway up a hill, sometimes at the top of the hill. I stop. I try and limit my stops, 10 seconds at most. And I tell myself I must keep going. And I move it, and I go. But I stop. I would love to not stop. That's the goal. Okay. Another rocky road. Getting there, this trail isn't too hard. I've been up steeper ones. Yellow blazing on. Short downhill. Little bridge over no water. Hasn't rained in days. There's a couple trails I really want to go on, but I want to see them after, the, after it's rained because there'll be some interesting stuff. Now the rock wall looks newer. Ron's way. Ron Swoboda, former New York Met. I think on the A's on the 1969 World Series champs. Ron Swoboda. Pretty sure he was an outfielder. Pretty sure he was number 15. I have no idea. I just made that last part up. Okay. Whoa, hairpin turn. Ah, that's lovely to see. Always love power lines on a freaking hike. Oh well, tis what it is. Stop to take a 15 second break and what do I see? I look up and beautiful cell phone tower. So pretty. Yellow blazing on underneath these power lines. Lovely. Just so, so lovely. Okay, bright side. We gotta look on the bright side, right? At least we get good cell reception up here. WTF, mate. WTF. You see that thing? Looks like a camper. Not really an RV or a motorhome, but a whatever, fifth wheel. Anybody needs a place to live? So look at that stuff up here. Good, if I become homeless, I gotta remember that's here. Playing at 30,000. If I knew what direction that was, I could make a comment about where they're heading. Oh, I know. Uh, I'll say Germany. Ooh, what is this stuff up here? Scrap metal, anyone? What the heck is that thing? Oh, I guess it's like a plow. Snow plow? Or for the field? I don't know. 
So this is a road up here over that over that way. I'm coming from somewhere. There it is. Oak Hill Fire Tower, Loudoun, New Hampshire. I crossed the state line. State line. Crossed the town line somewhere back. Uh, not long ago, five minutes maybe. If you want to sit with the gnat fly skeetos. Hey, little guy. Want to come home? Nope, going under there? Okay. <gasps> there you are. Hey, buddy, how you doing? How you doing? I gotta, uh, when I start carrying a day pack, I gotta bring with me some seed or something. Something that those guys would like to eat. Tiny breadcrumbs. That's just garbage. What the frig? Oh, that's lovely up here. Rock wall. Oh, thank goodness. I was missing rock walls. Hadn't seen one in like 20 minutes. <gasps> people. Ah, the people. I guess there were some people behind me. So there's my homeless home over there. And there's people up here. Okay, going up. Ready? Let's go up. So like from hiking, and I dropped my phone. It's only from a distance, about four or five feet. Dropping it from up here. Yeah, that would destroy it. So it is super freaking hazy today. There was a dude coming down when I was going up. And he's like, not a great view today. Pretty hazy. He wasn't lying. That kind of sucks, you know. I'm, I'm up here on a trail that I don't know if I'll ever even want to come back to. And I could have had a wicked, wicked killer view. Um, I would probably think about not coming when the sun is over there but more to the south I think it's the south actually um, let me visualize my head I have no freaking idea <laughs> oh wait a minute it's late in the evening that means that's west I was correct so I would probably want to get up here when the sun is actually I'll show you well that would be morning because the view, it looks like the view is best this way. I mean, you almost have an awesome view, 360. But look at the view on this side. Isn't this just beautiful? Look at this view. Oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? And you got those two towers over there. <laughs> Freaking ridiculous, man. I guess it is a gorgeous view if you love technology. Where's the moon? Can you see the moon? I see the moon. I can't see it in the camera. But it's up there somewhere. Is that it? It's about three-quarter moon. See that? That is just ridiculous. So that's east, basically. So the sun's gonna come up over there. It's gonna swing around that way. I probably wanna come up here when the sun is like, I don't know, like 10 a.m. maybe. And then you've got no bright obstruction for the rest of the sky. But you gotta come up here when it's a, uh, you know, total blue sky day. Absolutely. So there's the road down. I don't know where that goes. Don't matter. I was on the hiking trail. It's the last part of that trail sucked because you're like right under power lines and here's how you get into the fire tower above me look at this it's got like brand new wood i wouldn't say it's really brand new can't see a date on it um 
but it looks pretty freaking nice and people can get in there but they don't let the, the general public in there it's locked i checked 24 hour surveillance is there really a camera on me right now if there is i like to wave at him i'm really scared to hold my phone over the edge i think i got it tight there is one camera down there it's focused on the door for that building but i don't know if there's actually a camera on me right now now there is um so yeah here we are oak hill fire tower loudon loudon new hampshire there's a uh, nascar speedway somewhere within 10 miles of here i think uh, maybe in that general direction. I don't know. I wonder if there's a hill it can be seen from. I don't know. You know what? I don't really care. Anyway, uh, anybody, if anyone's actually watching this and you like NASCAR, the uh, New Hampshire Speedway is uh, somewhere over there, about within within 10 miles, not far. Short drive. So, this is my first time in a fire tower in many, 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 many years. This is, I'm not actually in it, unfortunately. Scumbags. But, uh, it's nice being up here. The breeze is nice. Like, gnat fly mosquitoes are at a total minimum because of the wind. But I am about to head back down. Like, all these marks on the, on the steps looks like maybe people using crampons in the winter. That would be my guess. But then again, who's watching for fires in the winter? Unless it's just uh, hikers with crampons in the winter, winter hikers. Definite possibility. People hike year round, and I guess um, a lot of them are going to use crampons in the winter. Oh, very cool looking sun right now because it's behind the cloud. So there's some mountain. Right there, I think it's Mount Kearsarge. I think that's what I read, but I'm not positive. Beautiful. Not as gorgeous as Bear Mountain the other day, but um, it's up there, definitely, because I haven't taken that many hikes with awesome views, so it's gotta be up there. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's up there. All right, heading back down. Oh, this view's the best. Here we go down the fire tower stairs, the fire tower stairs, the fire tower stairs. Here we go down the fire tower stairs. Late in the afternoon. Actually, it's probably more like early evening now. Whew, I'm going really slow at the moment because I'm holding the camera with one hand. That's it. I'm putting it in my pocket and I'm gonna go a little bit faster. All right, let's see. All right, one last look at the fire tower. Man! That thing's just sitting there. Tain't nobody up there. Tain't nobody out looking for fires. Tain't nobody using it. Why do they lock it up? You sons of bitches. I fungu! All right, that's the last look at the fire tower. It's time to blow this popsicle stand. Heading back down tower trail. This is an out and back trail. From the time of my last look of, of the fire tower, I was only on the trail for uh, about an hour and four minutes. That's it. And it'll take me, you know, two thirds, two thirds of the time it took me to get up here, it'll take me to get down because basically it's all uphill in the way here. Now, we go down the hill. We go down the hill, back to the parking lot. We get in the vehicle. And we go home. All right. Oak Hill 
fire tower trail. It's not bad. I like it. Um, it would be it would be nicer after days of rain when you've got some extra streams that you get to see. I always like to see streams on trails. I don't know why. Just makes them more naturey, more wildernessy. Um, but very little water out here. So after a rain, after a good rain, you know, a hike out here might be an extra half a star nicer. Uh, power lines. As I yellow blaze back down the trail. Power lines, they're gonna knock off a half a star. Cause that just sucks. That's that's uggo. That is uggo right there. We no like to see no power lines on a on a hike, but you know, it's still a hike. Much of the trail does not have power lines. Much of the trail is, you know, purely in the woods. I mean, this is woods too, right? Let's be real. However, yeah, old old rock wall. I mean, there was, man, somebody's property up here. Once upon a time. It's just very cool. There's probably a root cellar somewhere. Somewhere. Who knows where, but somewhere. Um, anyway, the power lines just kind of ruin this. Not totally ruin it, but kind of blah, at least in this section. But uh, even though this is still in the woods, obviously, this would be nicer without the power lines. But I'll be back in the woods in, in, a, in a minute or two to finish up the trail. And uh, I give this, I give this about a, about a three, three stars out of five. Actually, let's see. I think with water, I give it three and a half with rain. I know that's weird, but that's my own personal preference. With some nice streams out here after rain, three and a half stars. However, that view, even though you can't get all the way into the fire tower, that view is pretty rad. And uh, on a clear day, on a clear day when it's not 6.45 p.m. and the sun isn't right at you and you get to see over to Mount Kearsarge and that general direction, I would say, uh, I'd say this is a four-star trail because of the view. Me likey. And um, I probably wouldn't come back if it wasn't for that fire tower view. I'll, I would, you know, I would 99.9% not come back and do this trail ever again if it wasn't for that fire tower, tr fire tower view. But the fire tower view makes this uh, worth repeating, definitely. I know there's gonna be a hundred more views elsewhere in New Hampshire to see, but perhaps another day, another time, not in a week, not in a month, probably not even this year, but I would definitely come back on a clear day for that fire tower view. And the fact that, at least for now, at least for 2021, uh, this is only 18 miles from where I live, um, that definitely makes it I was at a junction here and I forgot which way to go. So, um, so yeah, since it's only 18 miles away from where I live, it definitely makes it a very good option for a decent 
thousand foot hike, thousand foot elevation gain, about four miles. There's another chipmunk in the woods. He was scrambling around in the leaves as I was walking by. Um, yep, so I gotta beat the sun so it ain't dark. I'm sure I'll make it just fine. All right, bye. 7.01 p.m. It's a little bit dark in this section. I'm sure it'll lighten up when I get to the clear cut, but right now, uh, I think the sun is below the horizon. I'm not positive. It's either below the, hor below the horizon or it's behind some clouds. And I was gonna mention, um, flies have not been bad out here. Uh, last few hikes, one hike in particular, I forget which now, man, my brain's fried. Too much acid in the 60s, man. Even though I wasn't alive in the 60s, man. Still too much acid in the 60s. Fried my brain. Um, the flies, the gnat, gnatsquito flies today have not made me yell. None of them have swarmed my face when I stopped to take a break. Or I haven't tied my shoes today. Except like when I left to come hiking, you know, haven't tied my shoes while I was on the trail. That's what I mean. But uh flies have not swarmed my face. They they bump into me occasionally. And they're not too bad. They're not ticking me off. That's for sure. And like I said, I haven't yelled. If I yell, which I haven't caught on camera, but if I yell, because the Natskita flies are swarming me too much, going into my ears and into my mouth, then I'll freaking yell. I'll be so mad. I don't really get mad in this life very much. Not demonstratively, but Natsukito flies can get me there. And they haven't today. Hasn't been too bad. Definitely, definitely tolerable. Just heard a car go down Shaker Road, which means I'm getting close. Close to the end. It is dusk. And the sun probably has, um, well, there's no sun anymore, it's dusk. There's sunlight, but there's no direct sun. It is definitely below the horizon. So, as I head downhill, almost there, there will still be light enough in the sky for a probably another hour I mean it's not too dark to walk right now I mean definitely not absolutely definitely not but the thing is if I wanted to I could probably end this hike even later which is good I mean I get to test out times here to see when the latest I can start a hike would be, depending on the length of it, of course. I can hear people. I can hear the road. I like getting up into those woods back there behind me. It's nice, man. It's nice to have some silence sitting in my living room. I'm all day, all day long. I hear cars right out the front, the front windows. Cars on the street, street that's only, I don't know, 15 feet away. And 18 wheelers go by. If I was to count every 18 wheeler, let's say between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. 
Man, obviously, I don't know how many there'd be. I could only guess. And I guess there's probably like, throughout the whole day, 25 minimum. Sometimes they kind of rumble the house a little. I swear to God, Richter scale type shit. It's ridiculous. And I actually, I had a moment today, just today, earlier, a few hours ago. Man, I'm fucking tired of it. Thank God my lease doesn't have an end date. It's not filled in, which means technically, legally, I think I'm allowed to leave. If I just give 30 days notice, I'm allowed to move. And I don't have to stay a full year. But I need to make some kick-ass money soon to be able to do that. I need to not spend money I don't need to spend. I need to really save. And then, man, I want to buy a house slash get a mortgage for a house. That's what I really mean. Um, of course, I don't want a mortgage, but I mean, that's what most people do. And if they pass a $15,000 tax credit in Congress for first-time homebuyers, which I've never bought a home, so I could hopefully qualify, then maybe, uh, maybe I can get a house. Maybe by the first of the year. That'd be fantastic. All right. All done. Done with my hike. Is that car running? It was making that noise earlier. It's like there's somebody dead in it. I don't know. I could swear that car's running. Really weird. I'm at the end. All done. Bye.